An 11 year old boy continues to fight for his life after yesterday's school shooting in Roswell. Today, police reveal new details about what happened in the minutes before the shooting and as it played out. Good afternoon. In a news conference today, state police announced the suspect planned the shooting at Berendo Middle School and warned a select few students before he started firing. News 13's Cole Miller is live in Roswell with new information. Cole. Yeah, Kim, you said it. A lot of new information was released today, and we now know more about what happened in the gym here at Barando Middle School. 12 year old Mason Campbell, a seventh grader here at the school, pulled out a modified 20 gauge shotgun from a duffel bag and started firing into a crowd of his peers at around 7 30 yesterday morning. They say the shooter fired three rounds. One hit the ceiling, another the floor, and the third hit an 11 year old boy and a 13 year old girl. He was 12 to 15 feet away from his victims when he fired off a 20 gauge bird shot, which contains dozens of small pellets. As of now, no motive has been released, but they do think Campbell Campbell wasn't was not targeting anyone. They do think the whole thing was planned, but wouldn't elaborate on that when questioned. They say as he walked into school in the morning, he warned students about the shooting, and they're also investigating if he posted anything on social media. You know, we have some indication of that. We're still going through the uh, social media as I talked about, but we believe there were some preliminary warnings as he arrived at school, but we're working through those with those interviews. State police say they are still working on charges for the shooter, saying this is a very complicated case, and they aren't saying what those charges would be. Kim, back to you. Okay, thanks very much, Cole. We also learned today that the boy did not have any extra ammo with him yesterday, just those three shots, which he all fired, fired off all of them. Meanwhile, the 11-year-old boy who was shot yesterday remains in critical condition at a Lubbock hospital. Out of respect for his family's wishes, we are not naming him. Hospital officials tell us he has undergone two surgeries, but his condition remains the same. The other victim, 13-year-old Kendall Sanders, is doing much better. She had surgery yesterday to repair her shoulder where she was shot. She is listed in satisfactory condition and could be released from the hospital as early as today. The suspected shooter is in an Albuquerque in Albuquerque at a psychiatric hospital today. He was brought here after a court hearing yesterday. News 13's Lizay Mitri continues our coverage with more on Mason Campbell. Kim, state police still hasn't said what may have led Mason to bring a shotgun to school yesterday, but they don't think anyone was targeted. I can probably speak to the fact that I believe when the incident occurred, it was random. The victims were random. State police says the shotgun Mason used belonged to his parents. They believe Mason was the one who modified the gun, sawing off the woodstock so it fit in a duffel bag. Investigators searched that bag, his home, and a locker, but won't say what they found. We went by the home today. State police was no longer staked out in front of it, but no one answered the door. We did speak with one woman who says she sees Mason's parents every day and says they're a loving family. I hear a lot of people saying, you know, this all it all starts with the parents. It all starts how you raise your kids. But I don't really think this is the case um, because I see these parents very involved in their kid. The attorney for the Campbell family said they'd be releasing to a statement, uh, re releasing a statement. Excuse me today. We're still waiting on that. Kim, back to you. OK, thanks, Lose. At this point, classes are scheduled to resume tomorrow at Berendo Middle School. Our teachers tomorrow have a very, very difficult and stressful day coming. And they've all worked very hard today to prepare for tomorrow. There is obviously concern about the reaction from students when they walk through those doors and how they will cope with it throughout the day. They are not the same kids who walked through those school doors yesterday. The teachers need to be prepared to basically triage and, and uh, make sure that we have all the kids who um, are, are and have been affected by this to where our crisis intervention team is able to work with them. That team will be at the school to help the students not just tomorrow but in the days and weeks to come. Also a group of therapy dogs will be part of that team. They just happen to be in town as part of training and have already been working with those kids. And those with the Arapaho School District have offered to send a group of their kids to Berendo to help with the recovery process. 
Last month, they experienced a very similar shooting at their high school, which left a 17-year-old girl dead. All the schools in Roswell, except for Berenda, were in session today, but it was tough for parents who had to drop off their kids. You got to make sure you say goodbye. I love you. You know, you have that last moment and it makes you think twice about it a little longer, you know, just um, leaving them because you never know what's going to happen during the day. What happened yesterday in Roswell is weighing heavily on parents today, not just in Roswell. Other kids from other schools are afraid. If it happened here in Roswell in one school, can it happen here in Roswell in another school? And so kids are afraid and I'm asking parents, that don't just ask, are you okay? And get the response, I'm okay. Keep talking. Despite the concerns, the superintendent says attendance at their schools today was normal.